Hey guys, Jib here and welcome back to another Modern Warfare video. And today we're going to be talking about this new update that just dropped in Modern Warfare. The historic largest content drop ever in Call of Duty history. I think that's one of the taglines that they actually put out. And that is just blatantly false. There has been... All previous games have dropped more content. Um in one little patch than Modern Warfare did. Unless, you know, they're counting all that sweet, sweet microtransaction items, then yeah, maybe they did do a historic drop. But let's talk about what happened. So there was a lot of bug fixes. You had the snake shot revolver get nerfed. You got two guns added. You have a lot of cosmetic emblems, emotes, watches, variants, and all the things of that nature added in. And overhaul did not happen it's probably not gonna happen the overhaul essentially was you know microtransactions if we think about it because apparently from what i'm reading on reddit that they have these new little bundles you can buy and it's actually not showing you all of them once you buy some it actually replaces it so you think there's only a couple in the store that you can purchase but then more and more keep appearing. I find that interesting that Infinity Wars using that tactic of you're not really doing FOMO and getting those items that might be limited time, but instead just keep buying. Just keep buying, you know? And so we got the two guns I dropped. That's cool. They're free. They're in the battle pass. Uh, you can actually level up the battle pass without paying for it. I would know because I'm not buying the battle pass. See, I got the dark edition when the game first dropped because I wanted those night vision goggles. That's the only thing I gave a damn about. I wanted to be able to display them, look cool because I wish I had the Modern Warfare 2 ones. So I got the dark edition and it didn't come with any COD points. There was other editions that came with 30,000 COD or 3,000 COD points, my apologies. But the dark edition came with zero. So I'm not buying them. I haven't bought Call of Duty microtransactions since April of 2017, and I'm not going to start now. That battle pass is not worth it whatsoever. Once again, Fortnite's battle pass makes sense because you, you know, drop in on a map, you get to see your glider and everything and all the effects. You get to see your character in full blown skin. So with these skins that they just put in the game, guess what? My hands are not that pretty and those hands are not worth it. Buying. Uh, the reason why I rocked Rick Toffin throughout all of Blackout Black Ops 4 is simply for his quips, his lines, and I really enjoyed them. I'm already sick and tired of every single character screaming out what they're doing in Modern Warfare because I need to let the entire game know that I'm reloading. So that's where we stand. And then instead of giving us one massive content drop where we get all these new maps, because we really, really need new 6v6 maps, we're going to get them trickled. They're going to get a trickle to us, you know? We're going to start with Crash, that's had a safe space added with a head glitch that's a pain in the ass. And then we will, down the line, get Vacant, vacant <laughs> and Shipment will be added in. Um, yeah, Vacant technically already exists in the Ground War map, and Shipment will, I guess, come later. Um, yeah, I... I we need content, we need it bad. And all three of these maps are from a 2007 game. And I know a lot of people are going, hey, you're complaining about these new maps that they gave us in Modern Warfare. So they give us three old maps to help satisfy us. Now you're complaining about getting three old maps. Yeah, I am. You wanna know why? Because we should have a decent ratio of like three to two or three to one for new maps to old maps. There should be no reason why we are getting nonstop old maps unless I was playing Call of Duty Online. I'm not playing Call of Duty Online, a free to play game in China. I'm playing a AAA game made by the US American company, Infinity Ward, working for a Fortune 500 Activision company. And we're getting three old maps. Really? Shipment we've had four? Five times maybe? I can't recall because I know sometimes that was brought back. It was actually altered and then other times it was a one for one replica. Woohoo! Vacant we had as DLC in Modern Warfare 2. Now it's DLC in Modern Warfare 2019. And this, I don't know what to tell you guys. I know a lot of people are like, why are you still complaining for the sake of, it's like, we need to hold the devs accountable. In a way, it's literally false advertisement. The most historic Call of Duty content drop ever. All they did was give us one old map and then a ground war map that's chunked out of a BR map. 
I want, you know, new 6v6 and 10v10 content. Spec Ops is still brokenly annoying and people are avoiding it. It's not the Spec Ops we were hoping from for like Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 where you could do one star, two star, three star missions and have fun with your friends and actually be able to complete it. Instead, they're just broken missions where you grind and grind and grind and come hell or hell water. You're not going to beat them unless they update them and make them a little bit more simplistic or make it to where it has the three star program. So when it comes to this DLC drop so far, once again, for me, it's highly disappointing. I mean, at least at the very, they could have announced, hey, we're going to do like the Modern Warfare 3 type of content release where um, you get a map every month. But it's funny because Modern Warfare 3's content release with their season pass was more fair than this we would get you know one or two new maps one or two or maybe even three face-off maps in a single month it was amazing we were getting a lot of content and that was in 2011. they're seemingly trying to follow the same schedule but they're missing that one important criteria which is content you know so essentially the two guns we're getting one is kind of like an mtar variant like a more modern day more accurate and the other one is like a g36c i think france's ar and while i'm glad that we actually have new weapons in this game because you know most of the gameplay has been m4 and 725 overkill with ghost kind of situation two claymores um the guns are still outclassed by the m4a1 and the M4A1, in almost every single first-person shooter, is the most average of average of guns. And this game, it is brokenly overpowered. Which I don't think it should be. I think it should be average of average. Like MW2 and MW3, four-shot kill, solid weapon, low recoil, just you no know, decent gun. Like, it can keep up if you're good, but it can't shit on them. But that's not the case. I've been leveling up the G36 variant and i have actually gotten it to a point where it's usable um you need to catch people off guard a little bit it does take a little bit more bullets to kill i'm used to going for body shots but it's solid i'll give you that i've been enjoying leveling that gun up um so with the battle pass there's 100 tiers um at tier i think 15 and 36 is when you get your guns you can level it up without buying it and i think if you end up buying the battle pass later down the line all the tiers you have earned automatically unlock which you know is cool i wish fortnite did that i wish i could do all the challenges that they released even if it's just entertaining for me and then at the last second you know an hour before they kill the battle pass i can go hey i want that buy it and just have all the items that's something cool but with the way it sits for call of duty eh, i'm good you know maybe had you tossed in some kill streak camos you know maybe a throwing knife effect where it has like a ghost trail uh, throw in little things here and there that you know I would notice in game maybe paint my grenade gold or diamond grenade yeah I'd do it I might pay for the battle pass because I, I can see that but when it comes to character models nope I don't care the hands don't affect me and the quotes I'm hopefully will be able to figure out how to mute these things because they're just quite frankly annoying um, you get 300 cod points per battle pass free so on the fourth battle pass you should be able to buy it outright if you never buy the first three battle passes if that makes sense you'll get 300 300 300 and then when you get 100 you'll be able to get it because they're thousand cod points each which is what 10 bucks so it's not too bad i mean it is more fairly priced if you buy ten dollars worth of cod points you can essentially if you don't spend them on anything else which they're definitely trying to get you to do you can go through every battle pass um throughout this game's lifespan unless the battle pass fails and they go back to supply drops then you'll just have to burn your cod points on supply drops which i hope that's not the case it's cool not having supply drops in the game it really is the only thing that really sucks about this battle pass versus the last one is that black ops 4's original battle pass was completely free it had supply drops in it and it sucked you know and I can see why people are complaining right now because when Black Ops 4 released, their battle pass was free completely. But for the people who are wanting supply drops to come back, can you please shut the hell up? Supply drops are a cancer on every single video game we have played. We don't need them. We don't want them. Keep them the hell out of games. Unless it's 100% cosmetic only. And if we've learned anything from Call of Duty, that's not the case and that's not going to happen. So 
do us a favor and for those of you who like supply drops go play other games with supply drops um counter strike is fairly fair it's purely cosmetic and you know you can blow all your money you want and hell you can even sell them later down the line if you want to get rid of them cod can't do that so you know downside but this has pretty been the uh, dlc update i've been showing off some g36 gameplay in the beginning hopefully y'all enjoyed that and see how it is a decent of a gun um but let me know what you think down in the comment section below because we didn't really get any more changes we got microtransactions and two guns and a ground war map and a 6v6 map the others will come down the line if you want to see what vacant most likely is going to look like in 6v6 you can hop onto the ground war map uh it's actually in there if you want to just take a look around uh they'll probably modify it then but go ahead and expect vacant to be different than the og form and modern warfare as was crash because crash has like i said a safe space uh head glitch that is actually a pain uh to deal with and a lot of people are not happy about that so oh yeah by the way they removed shoot house 24 7. <laughs> the one thing keeping a lot of people sane hmm. so leave your thoughts down in the comment section below hit that like button if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys later peace out